Hello. There was an interesting question that somebody asked me. <laughs> How to get Excel to sort data dynamically. <coughs> For example, at a track meet. Um, if you have some athletes who are in the middle of competition and you want to, let's say somebody jumps longer and anyway, somebody updates their score and you want that to be placed into the standings so that the first place is at the top, second place is next, and so forth. So let me go ahead and <coughs> um, download this. Unfortunately, normally I would do it with a with a macro. Just write a couple lines of, of VB script. Um, it's not going to work, unfortunately. Because this is an online Excel notebook, and online Excel notebooks do not use, do not allow macros. Um, so, let's just do it with um, women's long jump, for example. Well, first of all, the hard part actually with Excel is that it um, it's a terrible program for doing this kind of thing and it al will only let you do it if you change the ranks next to the data itself. So we're, we would have to change these numbers. I'm not sure if that would affect the officials who are running the competition. For example, that might um, interfere with the order of the jumpers and make them lose track of what's going on. So we don't want to change the 1 through, th through 16 in the actual po in the actual um, list of athletes that's being used at the meet. So the first thing we'll have to do is copy all of these names and schools down below. So let's just do that. <coughs> and then let's copy the school. And then let's copy their result. So there we go. Now drag this down. Drag it down far enough to make sure that you have everything. So here we go. I don't have any idea why those two zeros are showing up. It just goes to show that sometimes Excel is formatting data, making it look one way when there's really something dark and 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 strange underneath it. So anyway, now we're going to rank each of these. Um, so with the way we do that, it's pretty simple. <coughs> we're just going to <coughs> take the score they got, for example, zero, compare that to all the scores. So we're going to say um, column L, row number 38, through column L, row number 59, for example. Just make sure that you get all of them. And then you rank it. So that, that jumper is 12th. Um, now this thing doesn't does not work very well if there are any ties, which can happen in track and field. So I guess the moral of the story is if you're measuring it, just make sure you measure it very accurately, the more, um, or very, very precisely and accurately. Um, then you can try to help avoid ties. Okay, so here we go. Um, <coughs> now, so for example, the highest jump is Brianna Eccles, the farthest jump. Okay, now, what we do up is go up here. See so that that name, Brianna Eccles, is just manually entered. There's no no dynamic sorting involved. We need to get rid of that. So let's, we're just going to delete all this data. Um, it's going to be dynamically produced. So delete, select it, and then delete it. Now, um, next to place number one, type equals. Now, if there's some sort of error happening, like blank data or something, then you don't want to have that have a problem. So we're going to put the formula in as the first default option, but then we're going to put an empty string in after that. So the the value that it would be would be the 
the lookup of, and then we select this entire table. So we go from H, from actually from I, 38, I, 38, through, Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. Um, <coughs> you actually start with the place. We want to find the first place person. And we're going to look that up in the in the table of data right here, which is I, sorry, dollar sign I, dollar sign 38 through dollar sign K, dollar sign 59. No, actually, L, dollar sign L, dollar sign 59. Okay, so just make sure you have everything. Okay, so then push enter. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Um, <coughs> and we're gonna, we actually have to def decide which column we want to get. So let's say if it finds place number one, which it looks at in the first column of the red table. So it'll look down there for place number one, but we want to print out the person's name, which is the second column of that red table. So we'll type two. And we want to type false for the next argument and push enter. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, that's just the end of the VLOOKUP. And now I remember if, I, if there's no name involved, I need to put an empty string. So close that, like that. So here we go, Brianna Eccles is first. Then I'm just going to copy that. That'll make it easier to type without making mistakes. And <coughs> put that formula into here. But the school would be the third column of that red table. So change two to three. And then push enter. And then meters would be the fourth column of that table. So change two to four. Now the meters, it's better for the conversion to feet and inches if you use a zero as the alternative value. So if there's no result, it'll just return zero meters instead of returning a blank string, which would cause a numerical error to happen. So here we go. Now, we are just going to um, take this, drag it down to the bottom, and perfect. It's working. So rank to number one is at the top. Everybody else is underneath it. And once again, remember, it does not break ties properly. so. For example, <coughs> um, um, that's interesting. It looks like there's a number a result number seven is not working. It must be some sort of a <coughs> something to do with some sort of a tie. So, so let me pull up. Sorry. So let me put these numbers down here, paste special values only. And then I'll sort them. So this is result number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, sure enough, we've already ran into a into a case where there's a tie. So result number seven has no result. It really should say blessing a prodigy for that. So this just indicates to you, this is actually a good example that it does not break ties properly and that's a limitation of Excel. We could actually count how many tires there were but in order to do that we would already need the data to be sorted which it's not sorted so we're pretty much stuck in an endless loop since we can't um, actually use VB script in an online Excel notebook so anyway that's all thanks <laughs>